Okay, guys, it's that time again. Oh, wrong character. There we go. It's that time again. We are going to be leveling Soul Mischief. The monk looking for trouble. Alright, now I know that she is level 13 now. I'm not going to be doing a video for every level because, um, let's face it, grinding is hard enough. Watching someone else grind is absolutely mind numbing. So let's get loaded in here and we'll be uh, on our way. I'm only going to be doing a, le a uh, video on her when she switches where she's currently grinding. You've so got that my way you can get an idea of how I get myself through this. Um, let's see. Alright, food's Watch good. Your back. Drink's good. Let's come out here. Got mail. Oh hey, we sold something. Yay! Money's always good. Money's very good. Even if there's only a couple silver. Alright, I just grab this stuff now. Tuck that down into here. Um gonna cut down some of our bag space, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. We can always go and sell. Um, don't have enough money yet to buy a bigger bag. That will come. I find that if I get bigger bags too soon on these guys, I just end up losing the money because something silly happens and yeah. Then it'll be time to do wheat re-roll. I already re-rolled this one, what, once? Twice? Once. I really don't want to again. <laughs> Alright, so, now that we're level 13, we're gonna come down here into the lock. Um, Murlocs are, I believe, level 13 and 14, and we should be okay with them. And we will also be getting some much-needed cloth from them. So, let's see. Let the games begin. So, see that was not a problem at all. Now you do need to be mindful because those that are not experienced with this area of lock metal, there is a rare relic, appropriately named weapon that will patrol through here from time to time. Sometimes he'll be coming from that way on his way back, and sometimes he'll be coming from this way on his way out into the wilderness. So, do be mindful. Uh, other than that, the ones right here in this section don't seem to patrol too hardcore. They walk around a little bit. Um, as you get to the other side of that camp there, um, there are a couple runners, so if you happen to go left, coming down the hill, do watch out for that. Um, now these guys are pretty good, they don't usually throw any buffs up or anything. Um, they're not too tightly packed, and the little murloc guys here do not aggro, so that's also helpful. Now, I'll usually clear out those guys. Now, down in here is usually where I do run into the white merlot quite a bit. If it's up, I usually run into him here or over in the, um, when I'm coming down the hill. And sorry, my neighbor's dog is barking. Now, let's see here. So you're just gonna keep killing. Coming down through here. Top off my health. Now, don't be surprised. There is a murloc up here hiding on this hill. So, you definitely want to get him. I need to get closer. I don't know what will save these guys. And, you know, XP. You're going this way anyhow. You might as well. So, we've got another one up here. And these guys are pretty, pretty tame to kill, I mean, 
This shouldn't hurt you too bad. I might have been able to come down here at level 12, maybe, but I decided not to risk it because usually there are murlocs out here. Uh, murlocs, yeah, the murlocs are right there. Usually there's alligators out here, or crocolisks, and um, those are level 15. So um, I try to avoid this area until at least I'm level 13. Um, most of the tunes I've played, two levels above a normal mob doesn't hurt too bad, and you can usually get through it. Um, a rare is probably going to be a different story. Um, be very careful if you're going to go after a rare two levels above you. Um, just make sure you know what your character is capable, capable of, or uh, you're going to have to reroll. Because it's not going to end well. Most of the time. Also depends on what spec you're in. Um, I tried going back for a little bit, it was alright. Um, not a huge fan of the monks. They're okay. Um, trying a uh, Mistweaver right now. And we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm a bit hard headed when it comes to some classes, probably because. Uh, my main's a healer, so I tend to try to level in healing specs, just, you know, to say, hey, yeah, I, I leveled like that. Now it might take me a little bit longer, but I also get a little bit more satisfaction out of it when I'm able to level in a healing spec without too much trouble. Now, um, that may change as... Levels go up, and things get a little bit tougher to go after. But hey, like as you said, we're allowed to spec change, and as if we can spec change as much as we want. Um, so yeah, if it looks like it's getting a little, a little shaky, then uh, I'll probably switch back over to Windwalker. Um, thought about doing. What is it? Brew? Brewmaster? Um, never ever touched the spec, so I don't know. I am worried that some of the abilities of the spec might cause me to make friends that I don't necessarily want. So if it comes to that, I'm gonna have to... Uh, actually really read the spell book and see what happens because there's times where you really don't want more friends a lot of times single mob is going to be the way to go depending on your class unless you've played the iron man or um just know that class what it's capable of without the gear I'm not really sure my limitations on this one because I, I think I got to level 30 once and I was in leveling gear. And that was like right after most became available. So, um, it's been a while. Oh, nope, don't want to go that way. Try never to go backwards in your grinding path. Because stuff's going to respawn on top of you. And then you're gonna be in a sticky situation. Now, I did notice that Zortz said that he learned something from my video. And it wasn't something that I was expecting. Um, I didn't even think about it before. But I do have my bar set up in a specific way. It's just the way I play. It's the way I've always played. So I never thought about it. But yeah, I always put my hearthstone here. Now, on my main, my fishing uh, cast thingy bobber is here, but since we can't have fishing on Bloodthirsties, I uh, stuck my band-aids here for quick use, and I've got my food and my drink right there, so that way everything's at my fingertips and I don't have to be searching through my bags trying to find it. It just makes it a lot easier in a dire situation of, oh no, oh no, oh no, red screen of death. But um, yeah, so I tend to take those close at hand, and I also, as 
you'll notice on, uh, when I get higher level that I'll have uh, my mount buttons over here too so that way they're right there at my fingertips and they're out of the way so when I need them I can just uh, click them but I won't be clicking them accidentally same thing with the food it's over there it's there for when I need it it's out of the way these guys are hitting hard so yeah we definitely only want one of these at a time then again, I think I've got really to get closer. crummy gear on. Um, now, just because I tend to take a selfie when I level, I've got my selfie camera there. The target. It is so messed up that these things don't drop something every kill. It's like, I killed you. You should at least have an eyeball or something I can rip out of your body. I mean, come on. Throw a girl a bone here. Anyhow. So, and I've got my, um, little first aid button there, so I'm oh, gonna need more band-aids, and just pop it open and I'll have to go search it. Um, now my main bar is here. I tend to put my racial ability down here. Don't know why. Just always have. Sort of like an emergency button. And then this is my emergency class, um, getaway button. And, uh, I tend to put any healing spells that I might have or spells that uh, you need combo points to complete that don't activate until there's rage or what have you down in here and uh, my heal spells will be down in here too somewhere um, if you can see for the monk I've got it set up like this I'm not sure why I've got those blocked out there probably because of the way they were playing on Windwalker so I just kind of went with it it's probably going to change eventually but for now it's working okay, so just kind of go with it. Um, now that way is bugs that have a poison at I'm out of level range. 15. Um, it's too and there's also a rare bug, Nyx. Um, he hurts quite a bit to a low level, and I believe he's level 17. Okay, we got a green. So we're going to stay away from that area for right now. Now as you can see, my bag is a little weird. Every time I get a green, I try to put them towards the bottom of my bag because that way all of my auction house stuff is grouped together. All my vendor trash and food and band-aids and stuff I try to keep up top. I don't know, it's just the way I've been doing it. Now another thing that you're going to notice after you see enough of these with me and probably see in the background screenshots with uh, Soulbound and the other gang. I, uh, I always have a battle pet out. Uh, it kind of makes my character feel not so lonely because, you know, it gets boring and lonely out here. You're out here on the road killing and nobody talked to you, just you and your pet. I mean, well, those of you that are not popular guild, you know, you can talk to people there, but, uh, me and my pet, you know, we're just hanging out, killing mobs. Now, every pet of mine, not every pet, every character of mine gets its own battle pet. I don't know why. It feels kind of superstitious and like a good luck charm, but every tune for this challenge gets its own battle pet. I pick it when I make the character, and that is their pet until they die. It will always be out, unless for some reason it disappeared and I didn't notice. But yeah, I feel I feel more confident having my battle pet alongside of me. And um, as you can see, Soul Mischief has Mischief the Kitty, it seemed fitting. So I was like, oh, okay, sure, why not? Um, they also get a title when they are born, so to speak. I try to pick something that sounds like it's fitting for their name. And let's see, what did I pick for Soul Mischief? Soul Mischief is the merrymaker, so she likes to be a little bit of a prankster, I guess. And you know, it's almost Christmas time, so what the heck? I need to get closer. Basically, you're gonna just keep going in a circle. 
around this plateau here. Seems to be a glitch lately where once it's dead and you go to move away from it, you hit the mob again. But, um, yeah, there's plenty to kill around in here. You've got the crocodiles, you crocolisks, whatever. Same difference. Um, it's too far away. And then when you come back down, you make a nice little loop here. So you come down from the murlocs, you go around the bottom of the swampy area. And you go around there, up over the plateau by the lake, you come down, and come around this back side of this plateau here, around these lovely little rocks. And then you're gonna come back up into here. Now, you gotta be careful. If you're level, if you're under level 15, you've got to be careful in here. I'll show you why. When you don't want to be too far out on this edge here for uh, when you're coming through because there are bobcats up there and they are level 16 and they are going and 17 there's a couple 17s up there somewhere they're going to want to eat you for lunch because you are a yummy yummy level 13 or 14 or even a fifth well 15 you might be able to take them but those guys hit pretty hard when they're level 17 And yes, that's from experience. <laughs> um, but you know what? You don't even need to be up there right now. Because there is plenty of stuff to kill down here. Even when it's just a little busy out here, this stuff responds at a pretty good rate. So you don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, let's, see, let's go this way. So I mean, you know, you've got quite a selection of stuff up here. Hmm. Now, when you've got a choice between a red mob and a yellow mob, always try to take the red mob if it's feasible. It's too far away. Okay, that was actually further away than I thought. Depth perception choose. So, um, always try to go for the red mob because the yellow mob is going to be yellow. It's not going to care whether you're standing there or not. The red mob, however, once it smells your butt, it's going to be like. And then it's gonna try to eat you. I need to get so, closer. Like, see, his friend doesn't care. Whatever. So, there's that. And then we can take our time and kill his friend. Get a quick heal off there. And uh, yeah, see, there's that. Now we didn't go after any rares right now, but somebody's been out here because this was empty when we first came over. And let's grab him. So I'm pretty sure that they're not going to be up for a while. Um, at level 13 uh, on a monk, I'm not sure I can advise going after the um, rare crocodile that will sometimes show up on the plateau back there. That's going to be a judgment call. If you think you can do it, then hey, go for it. Um, just remember, I didn't guarantee that you would live through it. Like I said, it all depends on your class. Not one die. Okay. The tough little crocodile. Right, I'm just making sure nothing's patrolling up there behind me. I got that guy there, but I think he's far enough away for us to grab this bird. Real quick. It's too far away. Man. Okay. Okay. A cracked eggshell. Yum yum. I'm out of range. Why did you keep a cracked eggshell, Mr. Bird? I don't understand that. that seems kind of silly. Was it like on your head, or do you have it in a secret compartment? 
compartment of feathers? Was it your lucky eggshell? I mean, what's the deal with that? I don't get it. Some of the things these guys have on them, it's just strange. Alright, there is a bear up there, but he's up there, and we're down here, and we should be good. We need to get closer. where I had this seasick crocodile song. It's not really a song, it's like a verse from a song stuck in my head. I can't remember if it was the last time I was doing this video or if it was something else altogether. Now I'm not sure. But um finally figured out where I heard it from. I kept thinking it was from Peter Pan or something. And, um, no, I don't really watch those or if I've seen it, I haven't seen it forever finally came to me the other night when I was in bed watching a uh, Christmas movie with my husband. It's too far We're watching away. Um, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. And um, one of the lines in there was uh, something about a seasick crocodile in reference to the Grinch. And uh, it's like, oh my god, that's where that came from. So, yeah, sorry. Can't remember if it was the last time I did this video that I talked about that or not. Oh well. <laughs> Just be an idiot out of myself if uh, it wasn't. So, hey, a little story there for you. I have really bad short term memory problems uh, about some things. Not all things, but some things. And I drive people crazy because they're like, yeah, can you do that for me? I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. I'm out of range. And if I don't do it right then, sometimes I'll like totally forget. Husband will be like, yeah, can you get me something? Like, okay. Like, do you need it right now? No, not right this second. Next time you get up. Okay. <sighs> Hour later, I get up, go to do something, come back, and he's like, got my thing? I was like, what? Oh, right. So that's always an adventure. Come here, Mr. Bird. What do you have for me today, Mr. Bird? Ooh, a small egg. Now, small eggs, I think, might be selling pretty good because it's Christmas. It depends on your server, actually. And I saw a screenshot that somebody took and put on Twitter where they had glasses of milk on auction house for people to do the milk and cookies quest for Santa for 17 gold apiece. Glasses of milk, guys. Don't buy that off auction house for 17 gold. You can get it from any innkeeper. That's when Google's going to be your friend to make sure that uh, on a white item that you're not getting raped over this, because that's a little much. I mean, hey, kudos to the guy that did it and uh, actually got people to buy it. But yeah, I mean, either that was some lazy people that had money to burn, or they're brand new to this game and have no idea. I must say, being a bloodthirsty at holiday times is kind of sad because you can't really do a whole lot of the holiday stuff because most of it involves quests. And I mean, I guess you could if you really, really wanted to, but we're limited to those 150 quests and 28 of mine are immediately eaten from uh, account-wide pet battle quests. I need to get close. So. It's like, yeah, I don't want to waste, uh, don't waste the, um, the quests on it. I would have been having a blast at Halloween doing the candy buckets. Oh, that would have been so awesome. Okay, so here's the rare. Now, he's got 576 health. Um, we can try it and hope for the best. I, I don't know how it's this is going to go. Let's, um... 
hope it doesn't go too badly. Oh shit. Okay, this isn't gonna go well. Okay, let's see. Come on, come on, get the yellow, get the yellow, get the yellow. Killing! Woo! Yay! That was scary. That was scary. That was a quick level, though. I wasn't sure we were going to be able to kill that. So, yeah, you've got to know your glass. Um, if I hadn't had that heal, it wouldn't have happened. And i got to get used to this heal, because it's a channel heal. It doesn't go off all the way. Because of the spec I'm in. Now, when you're a monk, you're going to get Zen Pilgrimage. You're not allowed to keep the XP from that, I believe. So, don't even... My suggestion is, don't even bother. Why risk it? Why risk it? Stick it up there and forget it's there. Alright, we also learned Resuscitate, which might come in handy if you want to be nice if you see someone dead. That died something silly. Alright, hey guys, we dinged. We need to get a picture. Alright, let's get our crazy girlfriend face on. Alright, and we're going to hearth while we fill this photo out. Oh, that was not too bad, but I've taken worse ones. So let's see. Blood. Oh, load screen. Bloodthirsty. Soul mischief. And she is a mist weaver monk. Dings. Uh, what did we do? We did 14. Yay! Woohoo! Alright, let's see. Total kills so far. Slide you over here so I can get to the screen. Okay, to find your kills, I'm gonna go to your achievements tab. Statistics and kills. Total kills 633. And let's see. Time played. Let me close that one out. And then you're gonna come over here to get your time played slash played. You don't know. And so time played seven hours, thirty-six minutes, and four seconds. All right, guys, and we'll tweet that along. Now, when I come back to town. I will usually come up here while I'm waiting for my picture to go through. A couple times I've tweeted out pictures and logged out before what it said my for you? tweet was sent and um, it didn't show up so I don't know what the deal with that is. Let's stick our eggs down here. They're going to go to the auction house. Um, the rest of this stuff I would just bender it unless you've got a lot of avid cooks on your server, I guess. But, yeah. Okay, so we repaired, we sold. Keep your feet on the ground! We will be heading to Auction House before we head out again, but for now, we can wait. It's not very pressing at the moment, so we'll come back over here to the inn. Let's see, we, did we get any cloth? We've got linen. What are our band-aids at now? Okay, we're still in heavy linen. So, let's top those off. If I manage to hit create all, maybe. I can uh, get them to go through, and let's see, we'll close those out and hit 80. Don't want to waste any valuable cloth that we can sell in Auction House. And that's pretty much going to be it, guys, so thanks for hanging with that level. And uh, that's where Soul Mischief will be leveling on that route, probably until she hits 16. And then we'll come back at level 16 for the change in her grinding pattern. So we'll see you then. Have a great holiday, everybody.